Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this heart opening vinyasa class. This class is a part of my Heal and Grow series. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this heart opening vinyasa class. This class is a part of my 20 day Heal and Grow yoga series. If you're interested in checking out the series, I'll include a link in the description box below with all the information that you will need. Today, we're going to focus on opening up our heart. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this heart opening vinyasa class. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this heart opening vinyasa class. This class is a part of my 20 day heal and grow yoga series. If you're interested in knowing more about this series, I'll include a link in the description box below for you to check out. Today, we're going to focus on opening up through the full body, but especially through our thoracic spine, our chest and shoulders. We're going to be working through asanas associated with the Anahata Chakra, our heart chakra. So this is an energy center at our heart. And by opening up in these movements, you may feel that you have a sense of love, compassion, joy, and connectedness to others around you. And so I encourage you to think about those things as we move together. Whenever you're ready, grab your mat and we'll get started. So we're going to get started in a child's pose. So make your way onto your knees. Take your knees a little bit wider than hips width. Take your toes together and find a heart shape with your fingers. So take your thumbs together and your index fingers together as your palms are on the ground. And you'll notice that when you do this, when your thumbs are, are bent just a little bit, you'll see an upside down heart. So when you find that upside down heart, send your hips back towards your heels. It's okay to keep your arms bent just a little bit. On your exhale, sink your forehead towards your mat. Begin to tune into your breath. Notice your breath as a form of energy moving through your body, guiding each movement. And as we flow together, do your best to send your breath to your heart. The heart we've created with our index finger and thumb be the symbol of the care that you're showing your body today and hopefully the care that you're also able to express to others in your life. And next inhale, slowly rise on up out of your child's pose. Bring your palms facing with your fingertips facing the front of your mat. Square off your hips, curl your toes under. We're going to send our hips up and back to downward facing dog and just walk our hands in. So coming into Uttanasana, forward fold, hang heavy for a moment. Maybe find a gentle bend in your knees if your hamstrings are feeling a little tight. And breathe. And inhale. Take a halfway lift, maybe straighten out the legs a little bit. Fine length through your neck and spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, rise all the way up. Reach your palms up tall. Find a nice stretch through your fingertips. Exhale, bring your palms to your heart. 
Inhale, bend your knees. Reach up, straighten your legs. Palms to touch. Exhale, draw your elbows down. So bend your elbows, draw them down. Open up through your heart space. Feel your shoulders open up. Feel your shoulder blades draw together. Find a little bend in your knees. Inhale. Exhale, root to rise. Stand up. Exhale, palms to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Find a back bend. Exhale, fold over your thighs. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk your fingertips out into a downward facing dog. Take a second here. Pedal out your legs if that feels good on the backs of your calves and ankles. Find a little bit of movement just to wake up the body. And then come to stillness. Feel your chest drawing in towards your thighs. Find slight external rotation in your forearms to feel supported in your shoulders. And breathe. And your next breath in, send your right leg. Inhale. Exhale, lower into a tabletop position, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, uncurl your toes. Now extend your right arm out long in front of you. Keep your neck at a neutral position. Reach through the right fingertips. Now extend that left leg back behind you. See if you can elevate that left leg. Inhale, reaching through your toes, reaching through your fingertips. Exhale, bring your right palm to your mat. Send your right shin over to the right edge of your mat. Come on to the bottom of your left foot. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Exhale, left palm behind your head. Open up through your heart and shoulders. Maybe throw in a smile. Inhale. Exhale, left palm down. Squaring off your hips, right arm forward, left leg back. Inhale, find length. And exhale, pivoting back to where we came from. Left palm up. Bring your palm to behind your head. Open up. Inhale. Exhale, back to the extension, inhale. And exhale, pivot on your right knee, left arm up. And exhale, open up wide. One more, pivoting back to neutral, reach that right arm up, left leg back. Inhale. Exhale, left arm up. Open up across the collarbones. Exhale, square off your hips, return to tabletop, and we'll go to the other side. So this time, reach that left arm forward, just about in line with your ears. Reach through the left fingertips. Draw that right leg straight back behind you. Elevate your right leg. Inhale. Find length root through your right palm. Exhale, release. Pivot on your left knee. Take that left shin to the other left edge of your mat. Take your bottom of your right foot to the ground. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open up, right palm behind your head. And we'll just flow through this a few times. Pivot back, left arm up, right leg back. Inhale. Exhale, reach up. Open up. Exhale, square the hips. Fine length. Inhale. Exhale, reach up, draw your shoulder blades together. Square off your hips, inhale, reach. Exhale, open up. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, reach through the right fingertips. Open up. And square off your hips. Return to tabletop. Curl your toes under. Send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Just starting to wake up the body before we begin to flow. Pedal out your feet. 
if that feels good in the backs of your calves. Give your body the movement that it is asking for. And be rolling out through the ankles, finding a little ankle mobility. And then come to stillness. Find slight external rotation of your forearms to feel the strength in your shoulders. Use this strength to draw your chest towards your thighs. Reach your heels towards your mat. Okay, if they don't touch, no worries. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Your next breath in, reach your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your right knee in towards your chest. Step your right foot between your hands. Lower your back, left leg down. Inhale, rise up, Anjaneyasana, sink into the hips. Final length through your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, draw your shoulders down. Draw your elbows down. Feel the opening in the sides of your shoulders and your collarbones. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep your arms behind your back. Maybe take a little bit of pressure off the sinking into your hips here. Draw your shoulders down and away and then sink back into your hips. Find a nice stretch. Inhale. Exhale, release the clasp. Reach your fingertips just in front of your right leg. Elevate that left leg up. Step the left leg in to meet your right. Inhale, sweep the floor with your fingertips. Rise into chair. Exhale, sink. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach up. Exhale, bring your palms to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, and bending through cactus arms, roll on forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, send your left leg back on about a 45 degree angle. We're coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. So find a slight external rotation of that left hip. Bring your right fingertips to the ground and reach your left arm up. Feel this broadening across your arms, your shoulders and chest and use your right palm on the back of your, sh and use your right palm to help you open up, drawing that left shoulder down and back. Maybe smiling as you look up towards your left fingers. Inhale. Exhale, reach all the way up, palms to touch. And sink into Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Bend deeply into that right leg. Feel that right leg turn on, squeeze your glutes. Slightly internally rotate that back left hip. Find length through the fingertips. Settle in. Feel the leg burning. Feel free to take rest whenever you need. But if you want to take the bind, bring your right arm all the way up and over. Bend your right elbow. Sweep that left arm behind your back. Bend your left elbow. And maybe find a clasp with your fingertips. And use this clasp to open up through your shoulders as you keep that bend in your right knee. Inhale. And exhale, release the clasp if you took the clasp. Flip your palm, reverse your triangle, inhale. Exhale, sweep your left palm down to your mat, pivot onto the pinky toe edge of your left foot, flip your dog. Inhale. Exhale, how slowly? Feel free to use your right palm as an assist here, but if you do want the strength challenge, <laughs> join me. Pivot on your left toes, bring your right knee in towards your right armpit, and how carefully and you step your right foot to the top edge of your mat. Bring your right palm down, pivot onto that left foot, reach your left arm up. Breathe. And exhale, sweep your left palm to your mat. Send your right leg back, high plank. Maybe lower knees first. Come into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take breath. Now we'll get to the left side. Inhale, sweep that left leg up and back behind you. 
bend your knee, draw it in towards your chest, step your left foot between your hands, lower your back, right leg down. Inhale, rise up, Anjaneyasana. Child's pose is there at any moment in practice. Feel free to take it and listen to your body. And exhale, draw your shoulders down and together, bend your elbows. Use your palms to act as if they're pushing back behind you, pushing the wind away from the backs of your palms, like, like so. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, come up off of that sinking into your hips just a little bit to interlace your fingers behind your back. Draw your shoulders down and away and sink back into your hips. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bring your, pink, your, bring your fingertips to just in front of your left foot. Step your right foot to meet left. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, sink. Inhale, root to rise. And exhale, palms to your heart. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhaling through cactus, rolling over your spine, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, send your right leg back, this time on about a 45 degree angle, coming into Trikonasana. Right arm up, left fingertips grazing the ground. Breathe into your right side body. Feel the opening through that right hip. And let your breath in your abdomen circulate with the heart at your center. Inhale. And exhale, rise all the way up, palms to touch. Sink into Virabhadrasana to heel toe your right leg back just a little bit. Sink into that left knee. Find length through the arms. Breathe. Maybe stay here or take the bind, reaching your left arm up and over, bending it behind your back, and reaching your right arm behind you, trying to see if you can find a clasp with your fingertips. Use this clasp to draw that right shoulder down, draw that left shoulder back, slightly internally rotate that back right hip and sink into your left leg. Settle in. You got this. Feeling the sensation in your left leg. Just know that you're working your muscles. You're building your strength. Breathe. And release. <laughs> Inhale, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, right palm to your mat. Maybe flipping your dog. Dancer's bridge. Inhale. Exhale, if you want the added strength challenge, see how slowly you can bring that left knee in towards your left armpit, pivot on your right toes, coming into a bit of a plank position, and step your left foot forwards. Left palm down, right arm up. Inhale. Exhale, open up through that left hip. And sweep your right palm to meet left. Step back into a high plank. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. You've worked hard to build the sequence. Worked hard to check in with your body and being kind and loving to your body. And now we're going to flow through the sequence at one breath per movement, moving pretty quickly. Feel free to take a, take a child's pose at any point. That is absolutely not a sign of weakness, but simply a sign of really intelligent, introceptive awareness. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Step it between your hands. Lower your back, a left leg down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, draw your elbows down and together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, find a clasp. 
Undo the interlace of your fingers, fingertips in front of your right leg. Step forward, chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, root to rise, palms to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, draw your elbows down into cactus, rolling over your spine, Uttanasana. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, right leg back on about a 45 degree angle, Trikonasana. Exhale, root to rise. Sink into Virabhadrasana too. Maybe find the bind. Inhale. Exhale, sink. Release the bind. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, left palm down. Can you come into Dancer's Bridge? How slowly can you bring that right leg? To the top corner of your mat, right palm down, left arm up. Exhale, left palm to meet right, send your left leg up and back. We're going to come down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Moving quickly, last side, you've got this. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back behind you. Bend your knee, draw your left knee in towards your chest. Step it through. Lower your back right leg down. Inhale, rise up, Anjane. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, interlace your fingers and draw your shoulders down. Inhale, undo the interlace. Step your right foot to meet left. Inhale, rise into chair. Utkatasana, sink. Stand up, palms to your heart. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Practicing the arms rolling over forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, send your right leg back on a 45 degree angle. Trikonasana, open through the right side body. Lift all the way up, palms to touch. Exhale, warrior two, sink deep. Maybe find the bind. Inhale. Exhale, release the bind. Inhale, flip your palm, reverse your triangle. Exhale, right palm to your mat. Spin onto the right foot. Flip your dog. Inhale. Exhale, left foot to the top left corner of your mat. Left palm down, right palm up. Breathe. Sweep that right palm down. Send that left leg back. The last vinyasa of class, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Side out. Begin to let your heart rate settle into a more restful state. Bring your knees to the ground. Have a seat on the backs of your heels. Allow your breath to settle. Smile. As you let your breath settle, maybe you just think about one thing you see around you, one thing that makes you happy. For me, it's my three little flamingo statues doing yoga. They make me laugh. When you're ready, come up onto your knees. We're going to go for camel pose. Feel free to take a variation of camel if you want a bit of a gentler stretch on your lower back. So for the variation, you take your palms just to where your back and tailbone meet. Draw your elbows together. Draw your shoulders down and back and just use your palms to push your hips slightly forward and find a gentle back bend. Maybe stay here. If you want to take the full camel variation, we're going to come up onto our knees, flex the toes, bring your right palm down to your right ankle and your left palm down to your left ankle. Maybe finding a little bit of leverage to push your hips forward and drop your neck, surrendering it. Mm. 
And slowly release. Uncurl your toes, have a seat on the backs of your heels. And give your hips a little wiggle. And breathe in contentment and peace and serenity for your breath as it begins to calm. When you're ready, curl your toes under. Walk your palms to meet your toes. Straighten out your legs. And just use the pivoting of your hips to gently rise all the way up to standing. We have one final back bend to finish off this class. We're going to take dancer's pose. So whenever you're ready, step your left foot slightly out in front of you. Feel rooted in the bottom of your left foot and begin to bring all the weight into that left leg. Engage the left leg. Now elevate that right leg up off the ground. Grab the outside of your right foot. Again, engage the left glute to help you stabilize. And then begin to draw that right leg back behind you, pushing into your hand. As you do this, tilt your hips, but keep your chest upright and reach your left arm forward. Smile as you find Hadrishti, as you feel your legs working. And exhale, release. Shake out your legs just for a moment. And we'll go to the other side. So step your right leg out slightly in front of you. Shift your weight into that right leg. Bend your left knee. Catch your left foot on the outer edge of your foot. Draw your shoulders down and begin to push that left leg into the left palm. Maybe reaching that right arm out in front of you. Draw that right shoulder down. Breathe. And gently, carefully release. Meet me in a cross-legged position on your mat. And a nice tall upright spine. Bring your palms to your heart and close down your eyes. As we close off practice today, let's think of one thing right now, maybe one person, one event, one adventure that you're looking forward to spending time with or spending time doing. And be thankful for that thing that makes you happy. Feel free to stay here and connect to your breath for a little bit longer. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this heart opening vinyasa. I hope that you're able to go about your day-to-day -day exuding love and warmth. Namaste.